Hey guys, what's up? My name is Alex. Again, I graduated from Stanford with degrees in math and computer science. And what I really like to do is bet on sports and beat the sports books. So what we're going to talk about in this video is sports betting math, the mathematical formulas, the mathematical principles behind sharp sports betting. Um, so in tons of other videos, we've looked for good betting opportunities and actually risked, you know, my capital on these betting opportunities. So what we can see is like in this Chiefs versus Chargers game, over 53 points is minus 139 odds on BetMGM. That is a direct sports betting, you know, arbitrage opportunity to Pinnacle. If you had BetMGM or BWIN Sportsbook, which is the Canadian equivalent of BetMGM in Canada, you could place bets on BetMGM and Pinnacle and lock in a risk-free, you know, profit of 0.86%, right? So we've talked about this in tons of other videos, but if we take a step back, the question is, how do we know this is a good bet? How do we know Pinnacle is sharper than BetMGM? Or if you look at this 49ers versus Packers game, it's the same thing. Minus 139, plus 144, direct arbitrage bet to Pinnacle, which has the Packers 49ers over minus 165. So if we click on this game and if we, if we actually just go to in this Packers game, the over 47 points, you know, what you'll see is this is minus 160 odds on 10 bet, minus 160 odds on DraftKings. You can get minus 139 on BetMGM. Pinnacle has it minus 165. Twin Spires and Unibet have it minus 157. So clearly BetMGM seems like the outlier with the odds they're giving you that are minus 139. Um, and Pinnacle has the over, you know, the most favored or they are most towards the over with their odds set at minus 165. So if we take a step back and we think about how how do sportsbooks make money? So what we'll do is we'll look for the typical point spread, right? This is how sportsbooks make money. They charge the VIG. They charge the juice. Sportsbooks, you know, with a typical minus 110, minus 110 spread, sportsbooks are requiring you to lay $11 to win $10 on both sides. That may not seem fair, but that's the business model. That's how sportsbooks make money, and that's why they're in the business of setting lines, is they charge $11 to win $10 on both sides. That is the standard VIG or the standard juice. Like minus 110, minus 110, you'll see that everywhere throughout totals, point spreads, things like that. That is the standard juice. So the question becomes, if sportsbooks are charging this juice, this VIG, how can you beat them if they have this inherent advantage that they're charging you $11 to win $10? And the way you do that is by looking for discrepancies and odds. So we've talked about this in tons of other videos, but there are all these sports books throughout the world. They all, for the most part, will have different odds from one another. They'll move lines in different ways. They'll have different models that update you know, their odds at specific times. Um, and Pinnacle Sportsbook is known to being for being the sharpest bookmaker in the world. So one question you know, people always ask is why is Pinnacle so sharp? Why are they so smart? Like here we see there's an arbitrage bet between BetMGM and Pinnacle. How do I know like Pinnacle's not wrong in this plus 144 is a profitable betting opportunity? When arbitrage exists, like here we could literally place a bet on BetMGM and Pinnacle and lock in a risk-free 0.86%, right? We'd make a risk-free 0.86% by this weekend if we placed a bet on this arbitrage opportunity and you know just followed the arbitrage calculator. So one sports book has to be wrong. So the question becomes, okay, is BetMGM wrong and are those odds too good to be true? Or are Pinnacle's odds wrong and are those odds too good to be true? One book has to be wrong in an arbitrage betting situation. You can't have, you know, a betting opportunity where you can make risk-free money in sports betting and not have one book be wrong. So the question people ask is, okay, why should I trust Pinnacle Sportsbook? Why do I assume Pinnacle odds are sharper or more, more efficient of a market than BetMGM? So if we just like literally look at Pinnacle's site, you'll see they have an article. This is Pinnacle.com. This is on Pinnacle.com. They have an article called Why is Pinnacle Arbitrage Friendly? So Pinnacle is known for being open to winners, 
right? Pinnacle accepts sharp action. They accept large bet sizes and they accept bets from tons of different countries, right? Canada, all over Europe. Pinnacle accept, accepts action from all around the world, right? If you think about BetMGM, it's only in a few U.S. states, right? Whereas Pinnacle, it's in a variety of countries. They accept a lot more action and they are much more open to sharp betting action, um, such as arbitrage betters and also just just sharp sports betters. So you can also see like, you know, literally another article from Pinnacle's site. They have a winner's welcome policy. Pinnacle brands itself as being the home of accepting action from sharp sports bettors. Um, that means that their sports betting markets are very efficient markets. Um, when you accept large bet sizes from tons of sharp bettors, you end up having a very efficient sports betting market. Just like the New York stock market is very efficient and it's really hard to make money, you know, in the stock market, it's the exact same thing in sports betting, right? Because Pinnacle is open to sharp action from all around the world and they accept very large bet sizes, they have very sharp lines, very efficient lines. If a player gets injured in the NFL, you know, sharp bettors are going to come in and hammer Pinnacle's lines and their lines are going to move very quickly. They are very advanced in terms of their trading. It's just a very sharp betting market. So you can do your own research. There's tons and tons of articles on Pinnacle site. There's tons of blog posts from sharp sports bettors about why Pinnacle is a very efficient betting market. Um, and this is really important to sports betting and sharp sports betting and just your journey to making money as a sports better because you need to know what the sharpest sports books are because as Pinnacle moves its odds, that's usually indication that sharp action is coming in on a specific side. And if you're able to get in on odds like minus 139 on BetMGM when Pinnacle has moved all the way to minus 165, and this is now a direct ARB to BetMGM, you're going to get in on profitable betting opportunities, right? Like this minus 139 on BetMGM is just a great bet. It's a mathematically profitable bet because Pinnacle is a more efficient betting market. And that's not a knock on BetMGM, right? Pinnacle is the sharpest betting market in the world. And there are hundreds of sports books and Pinnacle is just number one. So when you're finding arbitrage bets to Pinnacle as a sports better, that means, you know, it's very, you're getting a great betting opportunity. So in a lot of these videos and in a lot of sports betting mathematical formulas, you need to determine a fair win percentage for your bet, right? So here we know, you know, like if we just go here, we're, we'll see that the odds we're getting on over 47 in the Packers game are minus 139. So we can add another column, which will just be the specific bet. So this is going to be over 47 points in the Packers game. And we're getting minus 139 odds on BetMGM. So we'll increase this text size to 18. And we're getting minus 139 odds on BetMGM. So you'll see one of the most common things that sharp sports bettors do is they find the no vague win percentage from Pinnacle. So we said a little earlier in this video, the way sportsbooks make money is they charge the juice, right? They're only giving you plus 144 on the under, but they're taking minus 166 on the over. A fair market would be minus 155 over 53, right? Under 53 plus 155. That would be a market with no juice, no vig, is if the minus odds were the same odds as the plus odds. That would be a no juice market. But the way Pinnacle makes money is they charge this vig, they charge this spread. So here we see Pinnacle is minus 165 on over 47 in the Packers game and plus 144 on the under. So what we can do is if we go to a VIG calculator, we can see that Pinnacle is charging a VIG of 3.25% in this total points market. That means if people place equal and opposite bets on the over and under in this game, Pinnacle is making 3.25%. That is their profit margin. If you think of a stereotypical minus 110, minus 110 spread, the sportsbook's making 4.76% right? If I bet $110 on a point spread, you bet $110 the other way. The sportsbook collects $220, $110 from me, 
110 from you. We're both betting to win 100. One of us will win. One of us will lose. So the sports book will pay out $100 in profit to the winner, and they'll collect 110 from the loser. So for every $220 the sports book collects, or you know that is wagered on the sports book, the sports book's making ten dollars, which means four point seven six percent. That is the vig, or that is the juice in sports betting, and that's how this whole industry makes money. That's how sports books make money. So that also means this no vig fair odds calculator is very important. Like we can see Pinnacle for this specific game. Well, we can go back to it because I already forgot. If we go back to the Packers game, we'll see that. Pinnacle's market was minus 165 plus 144 on over 47 points. So if we go here and we go to the no vague odds calculator, minus 165 plus 144 is Pinnacle's market. That means if you remove the vig from Pinnacle's market, what you can find is a fair price that Pinnacle is implying. In that fair price, the price of indifference for Pinnacle would be minus 151.92 on the over 47 points and plus 151.92 on the under 47 points. I mean, 47 points. Um, so minus 151.92 and plus 151.92 would be the zero vague market or the point of indifference for Pinnacle Sportsbook. So every odd has an associated win percentage. So the fair win percentage, according to Pinnacle, would be 60.31% for this bet. So this is one of the most common you know, mathematical formulas in sports betting. It's de-vigging a market or removing the juice, removing the vig from a market. And the reason you want to use Pinnacle is what we just talked about. They are the most efficient betting market. They're arbitrage friendly. You know, they even write on their own blog that they have a winner's welcome policy. It's a very efficient, very sharp betting market. So their lines are very indicative of the true win probability of a wager. So what we can see here is our win percentage for this bet is 60.31%. We're getting minus 139 odds. So what we can imagine is if we staked $139, you know, let's say, on this over 47 on BetMGM at minus 139 odds, our profit if we win is $100. So according to Pinnacle, again, this is a common you know, math formula in sports betting, is we would be winning our bet. So we would be winning $100 of profit 60.31% of the time. And then the rest of the time, we would be losing our stake, which is $139 in this case. So it would be, this would be our profit margin. And this is the most important formula in sports betting. So I messed that up times 100 minus this divided by 100. Got to type that in right. So there we go. So the expected value of this bet at minus 139 odds is 514. So if we think about our expected, you know, if we think about that as a percentage basis, EV on a percentage basis, we're earning 514 and expected profit to pinnacle zero vague market on every $139 we bet. Our profit margin on this bet is 3.69% right? Just like the expected value of investing in the stock market for a year is roughly 8%, which is how much the stock market tends to go up on average. It's the exact same in terms of sports betting. The expected value for this wager is 3.69%, um, according to Pinnacle's market. And again, we use Pinnacle and we use Pinnacle as the source of truth and fair win probability because it is the most efficient betting market in the world. Um, and you can look up, there's tons of articles online. These are just two basic ones I found. Um, so this is really, these are the most important, you know, mathematical concepts in sports betting. And having an understanding of sports betting math and the formulas that are, that are critical to becoming a sharp sports better will net you a lot of money in the long run. So looking into like, you know, these different calculators on Oddsjam, the Kelly calculator, the Novig Odds calculator, like they're all very important. 
And as you gain your understanding of the sports betting market, of the sports betting ecosystem, and why certain sports books like Pinnacle are much sharper than others, um, you know, the tools on Odds Jam become much more valuable. Like this bet, it's an ARB bet of 8.86%. That's what you can, you know, if you had both sports books, you could make a risk free 0.86%. But as opposed to doing that, maybe you just want to place the bet on BetMGM because, again, Pinnacle's zero vig market was minus 152, and we're getting minus 139, so it's just an incredible betting opportunity. So if you're willing to risk capital as a sports better, you know, this is a sharp sports bet, and you would have positive expected value and make money in the long run placing bets like this one on Chiefs Chargers you know, over 53 points minus 139 odds. So I hope you found this video helpful. Um, The point of it was just, you know, we want to explain sports betting better, go through the math and sports betting, the mathematical formulas in sports betting, and um, just try to help you understand the sports betting industry. How do sports books make money? How does that relate to you? How does that relate to fair win probability for a bet? Because if you're betting blindly just on minus 110, minus 110 spreads, and you're not paying attention to it, like as we showed with the VIG calculator right here, you know, the reason if you're just betting minus 110 spreads blindly, with every bet you place, you're losing 4.76% to the VIG. So you don't want to be betting minus 110 spreads blindly unless there's an indication from Pinnacle or another sharp sports book like Bet Chris that 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 is a profitable betting opportunity. So I hope you found this video on sharp sports betting helpful and the math behind sports betting. And as we've said in previous videos, if you have any questions, you can email us anytime. Um, and yep, we 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 hope you enjoy Odd Jam. Thank you.